Hey y'all, where y'all been? I'm gonna go ahead and read the introduction of the Women's Encyclopedia of Myths and Secrets by Walker. So y'all bear with me and it won't be long. Just follow along. Thousands of popular fantasies and hidden facts are expounded in this encyclopedia where the complex subject of sexism is approached from both the historical and the mythic viewpoints. Standard encyclopedias usually omit such material or give it a brief, uninformative note. There is need for a complete study of the many faceted process of transition from female oriented to male oriented religions in Western civilization. Our culture has been deeply penetrated by the notion that man, not woman, is created in the image of God. This notion persists despite the likelihood that the creation goes in the other direction, that God is a human projection of the image of man. No known religion, past or present, ever succeeded in establishing a completely sexless deity. Worship was always according, accorded either a female or a male, occasionally a sexually united couple or an androgynous symbol of them. But deities had a sex just as people have a sex. The ancient Greeks and others whose cultures accepted homosexuality naturally worship homosexual gods. Modern Christians take it for granted that they must revere the figures of a father and a son, never perceiving divinity and corresponding mother and daughter figures as the ancients did. Though Catholics still worship the goddess under some of her old pagan titles such as Mother of God, Queen of Heaven, Blessed Virgin, and so on, their theologians refuse to admit that she is the old goddess in a new disguise and, paradoxically, insist on her non-divinity. So we'll pick up on the second part of the introduction soon. Peace.